hacked. They stole credentials, real usernames and passwords, by dumping memory from LSAS.exe, the, the Windows process that stores authentication data. Once they had those credentials, they didn't have to hack into anything. They logged in, just like a legitimate user would. They moved sideways across networks, at what we call lateral movement, accessing more systems gathering more information, deepening their access with, with legitimate keys. No alarms, no brute force, just patient, methodical escalation. Over time, key moments began to surface, revealing just how far the campaign had reached. In June 2023, Microsoft dropped the first public alert. Volt Typhoon was breaching military and commercial networks in Guam. Why Guam? It's a strategic U.S. military hub in the Indo-Pacific. It was confirmation of state-sponsored actors embedding themselves in U.S. systems. By January 2024, the FBI, under a sealed court order, remotely removed KV botnet implants from hundreds of routers without user consent. A rare and controversial hack back operation carried out in the name of national security. In August 2024, researchers discovered Volt Typhoon exploiting zero day vulnerabilities in Versa SD1 routers used by major internet service providers, ISPs, showing the group's ability to adapt and expand its reach beyond energy and water sectors. In November 2024, investigations found Volt Typhoon implants inside the backbone of infrastructure of Singtel, Singapore's largest telecommunications provider, signaling the campaign had extended beyond U.S. targets into the networks of allied nations. And just this past March 2025, the U.S. House Committee demanded Homeland Security documents detailing the federal response, raising questions about why so many vulnerabilities remained and why so many unpatched systems existed within critical infrastructure. What are major differences between Volt Typhoon Group's activities and most hacking campaigns we've seen? They didn't cash out. They didn't steal customer data for sale on the black market. They didn't lock systems and demand ransom. They didn't make noise. They stayed hidden, embedded for years. The definition of an advanced persistent threat by strategically placing themselves inside America's energy grids, telecoms, water system, and transportation hubs, they were ready to cause chaos. Pre-positioning for disruption. That's what CISA and the FBI and their partners called it. Pre-positioning for disruption. If geopolitical tensions ever explode, say over Taiwan, Volt Typhoon would already have access to critical U.S. infrastructure and could easily begin to flip switches and cause major disruptions. At this point, the U.S. has uncovered Volt Typhoon. But with many compromised credentials and unknowns still in play, the focus has shifted towards damage limitation and regaining control. As I mentioned earlier, the FBI successfully wiped out much of the KV botnet in early 2024, surgically neutralizing malware implants from hundreds of hacked routers. 